morning you guys welcome back to another vlog i've pretty much just been running errands all morning long after my workout so i'm gonna go back to my apartment shower up make some breakfast and today i have like a relatively busy day i just want to like get my life together and get some things done that i've been on my to-do list like going to costco i just filled my car up with gas i really need to get a car wash and like really deep clean my car and vacuum it out because it's just I just want to get a nice fresh car. I feel like that makes me feel 10 times better. So I'll probably do that either today or tomorrow, but it's chilly out. I'm just happy the sun is finally out. These last few days have been incredibly gloomy or not even a few days, to be honest, probably like last couple weeks. I think we've seen the sun maybe twice. So I miss it. I miss the Florida sun, but let's head back, get some work done and get the day started. I just made breakfast and now I'm making my post-workout drink. I always do a scoop of BCAAs and then creatine. The normal BCAAs I use, I get off of Amazon so I can link those. I just have these from Alani that they sent probably like months ago. So I wanted to use these up and then I always do creatine. This helps a lot with muscle recovery and also helps you build lean muscle. So I've noticed a big difference. I've been taking this continually since August and I love it. I just get this on Amazon as well. That's what I do after the workouts. I was so sore this morning. Like I could barely do that freaking rower and today was like a rower challenge. So my legs are on fire. Definitely need to go foam roll and stretch today. I might sit in the sauna a little bit later too, but it's gonna be a busy next couple of days because my best friend from home is coming to visit on Friday. So that'll be super fun. So I just wanna get some things done around my apartment and also just in my life before she comes. So today we're gonna record my podcast, which hoping I have the energy to do that later because I've been kind of low energy the last few days, mostly because the sun hasn't been out and it's been so gloomy. Today, finally, the sun is out. I swear the sun and like the weather just dictates my mood so, so, so much. I'm just very affected by my environment. So it's been hard for me to feel motivated recently, which I'm starting to get a little bit back on track but yeah oh my god this generally tastes so good i like look forward to having this after my workouts a reminder to drink your water because I have felt so dehydrated today and I realized I don't even think I've drank like any water even after my workout today so you're getting hydrated I'm literally spilling this everywhere <laughs> but sometimes I'm like I can't even think straight and that's when I realize I've had barely any water to drink so that's what we're doing oh my gosh I could take a nap right now but I shouldn't <laughs> I absolutely should not. And plus, it is so hard for me to nap. Like, if I fall asleep in the middle of the day, like if I close my eyes and get a little shut eye, and I actually end up taking a quick little nap, that's how you know I'm so tired and just like worn out because it takes a lot for me to actually be able to nap. I've never been able to. In high school, there was times where I would like come back from school. Well, I played lacrosse in the spring and summer, and then in the fall, I played tennis. So like I would go to school, then after school, I would have practice. And then when I got back home, I would nap for like an hour and a half, I remember it. And then I would have dinner at like eight, and then I would start my homework around like 9.30. Like I probably napped maybe like four times a week. I don't know, but I was a napper. And then college hit and I could not nap for the life of me in college for some reason. And still can't till this day. But anyways, now we're gonna get work done. 
I'm gonna probably sit in my living room on the couch because I just love setting the vibes and making my apartment so cozy. It's like my favorite thing to just put on a candle, get it all nice and cozy in here. Plus, I just wanna put all this shit away. Like I have all my tripods out because the other day I was filming and I just never put them away. Half the time I never put them away because I'm using them all the time. So there's no reason because I just end up reaching for them every day. But yeah, we're gonna move this situation to the couch, turn on YouTube. That's been like my favorite thing to do recently to feel inspired while getting work done. But yeah, that's the vibes. That is the vibes. I got my laundry going, taking care of that. Anytime I do my laundry, it makes me feel like 10 times more put together because I'm at least getting some area of my life in check, you know? getting things done. I've had a very productive afternoon, basically just doing like lots of admin stuff on my computer. So taking care of that and my laundry and everything. It's about like 4.45. So I think I'm going to change out of my outfit. I've just been wearing this sweat set pretty much all day long because it's so cozy. This is probably one of my favorite crew necks that I own. It's like that perfect oversized fit because it's like frumpy, but not too frumpy. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like there's a science to that perfect oversized crew neck or hoodie. And this is the best one that I've ever had. I just love it so much. I can link it down below for you guys and then these sweats are literally just from gilly hicks they're like that straight leg pants style but i'm gonna change out of this put on some sort of like workout set and then go for a nice walk because the sun sets in about 30 minutes i also think i'm gonna make a snack before i head on out because getting kind of hungry this snack has been like my current sensation recently it's so good so i get these veggie great cinnamon roll muffins from costco you can get them at any grocery store but costco has the 20 pack and i just love them so much because they're the perfect like healthier snack in the middle of the day so i take one of these and i'll heat it up in the microwave and then also of course some cottage cheese which i know it sounds weird you guys but it's a good like high protein sweet treat for my snacks i'll take a little bit of cottage cheese put that in a bowl so i usually do like a scoop of this and then usually i'll add like almond butter or peanut butter on top so good. I'm very picky with my cottage cheese too. Like I only like this one from Trader Joe's or I think it's called Good Culture. That one you can get at like Publix and stuff. But cottage cheese is good. You just have to make sure you get the right kind. And then I'll put some cinnamon on this and a little bit of agave also. I always have to make sure I grab the cumin instead of the cinnamon because I've done that one time when I was making like pancakes and it wasn't until the pancakes were completely done until I noticed and I was like, oh my God, what the heck? So I'll just mix that up. I'm gonna pop this into the microwave for like 20 seconds. So good. And there we go. Very quick little snacky before the walk. I'm addicted to these. They're so good. I specifically like the um, cinnamon ones because I have the other flavor. This one, because I saw this one at Publix the other day since they were on sale and I tried it. It's not good at all. It's the carrot berry flavor. No bueno. But they're gluten free. They're lower calorie, but they have like protein in them, fiber. So good. Mm mm mm. I don't know what it is, but I'm the type of person that loves like hot food mixed with cold food. Like I like Chipotle for that reason. I like kava because of that. I also like to make like salad bowls and then put like hot rice with it. I don't know. I just love the combo of hot and cold. And I know some people are really particularly like that and don't prefer it, but I love it. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then we'll head for the walk. I decided we're gonna keep the cozy vibes going and I'm gonna wear this crew neck on my walk. Also, we need a poppy of course. Mm best things and then i'm just wearing this set from aloe not that it really matters what i'm wearing on a walk but i love it and it's so comfy and then these new balance 550s or not 550s i don't know what they are i'll link them they're so comfortable though and then of course my headphones because i cannot take these off ever since i got them i've been wearing them non-stop and honestly they motivated me to start going on daily after our walks but we're gonna find the podcast quick and then skedaddle out of here
doing my skincare because I just washed my face in the shower and everything and I'm so tired. I know the second that my head hits the pillow, it's going to be lights out. I always feel like this and then I'll lay in bed and all of a sudden I just have like all the energy in the world, but I'm not going to scroll on my phone. I'm going to read for a little bit and then fall asleep because I really need to get back into the routine of going to bed earlier. So I know that it's just like affecting obviously my energy levels, but my mood and stuff when I go to bed late and then wake up early in the morning because I have been making it a priority to wake up around like six to seven ish usually and I've been going to bed around like 12 30 to 1 which is not healthy to do and I think tomorrow I might just take a rest day maybe like an active rest day or something which I wouldn't really do on like a what's tomorrow Thursday but my body is so sore like so sore so I just need to listen to my body and lean into that depends how I feel when I wake up in the morning but as of now, that's definitely the route that we're going. I just put on this retinol. This is the Alpha Rec Clearing Serum from Skin Better Science. So I do this like every other night, I'd say. You can do it nightly, but I usually just do it every other night because my skin has been really good recently. And then I just put on this MZ Skin Under Eye Cream. And then I was going to do a face mask tonight, but the second I lay in bed, I don't want to get out of it. So I'm just going to put on this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is the best thing to do when you want to give your skin a little extra TLC but you're not feeling it you're feeling kind of lazy you can do this and it's the best because i just wash it off in the morning makes my skin so hydrated and so dewy i love it one of my friends routinely puts aquaphor on her eyes and it makes her eyes so glowy like she literally has no dark circles nothing and i'm like i need to start doing that i don't put it eyelids we are really going to bed tonight with a slugged up face but that's how i prefer it so i'm gonna head to bed read for a little bit and then I'll see you guys in the morning. I just finished this book this morning, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. Honestly, I know it's gonna be a little bit of a harsh rating, but I'd give it like a two and a half out of five just because there wasn't a lot of substance to it. Like it's a memoir, so a lot of her personal stories and different lessons, but I thought there would be more lessons and like advice to take away from it, but there really wasn't. So not my favorite and it was definitely harder for me to get through this book and a slower read. But yeah, I was shocked because I feel like a lot of people have recommended this book. Maybe it's better as like an audio version because I read Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey and I didn't love it either. And it was also a memoir. So a lot of people are saying that the way that he reads that book, it's so much better when you listen to the audiobook version. So maybe this book is similar in that sense, but yeah, definitely not my favorite. I just got to a coffee shop because it's a little bit gloomy out and well by a little bit I mean a lot it just started raining and days like today I either like to just sit on my couch and get work done and have a very cozy lazy day or I need to just grind get my ish done and feel productive just because like I was saying yesterday the weather just really affects my mood and level of motivation and it kind of makes me feel in a rut even if I'm not so I just wanted to get out and about today sit here for the afternoon get some things done don't know if I'm gonna actually get a coffee I'll probably get a tea or something because I had coffee this morning and I'm really Really trying to be cautious about how much caffeine I intake on a daily basis. So we've had the cold brew for the day, don't need another one. Also I'm wearing this chunky scarf, it's so cozy. My dad got this for me for Christmas and it's from Amazon, it's the best. I know you're probably like, why are you wearing a scarf in Florida? Well, shocker, today is another chilly cold day, but we're all cozied up. So let's work, have a productive afternoon, and then I think I have a couple of errands that I'd like to run afterwards. Oh, I didn't even bring them. Psych, we're not gonna do that. I was gonna return a couple of things that my mom ordered on Amazon and actually ship them to my apartment, and she meant to ship them to her place, but I needed to drop those off at Whole Foods, so I'll probably do that tomorrow or something.
I just did a little bookshop at Barnes & Noble, so I wanted to show you guys the new reads that I got because I'm trying to make an effort this year to read two books a month. So one down, 23 more to go. But the first book is probably what I'm most excited about. It's Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. This title reminds me of Why Men Love Bitches, which I read that book, I think like two or three years ago. Absolutely loved it. So this is giving that same sort of vibe and I'm excited about it. So I'll have to keep you guys updated how this book is. And then next one I got is The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. Probably not gonna read this one right away just because the last book that I'm gonna show you guys is the one that I'm gonna read next. But this says, Own Your Mornings, Elevate Your Life. My dad actually recommended this book to me. And I think it'll be a really good read just because I've been trying to get in the better habit in the mornings of waking up earlier and just having more of a productive but self-care type of morning. And I don't know. I just need to get back to doing it because it has made all the difference when I do get up earlier and not like feeling tired and just establishing more of a night routine, all that. So that'll be a good one. And then last book is Tired as Fuck by Caroline Dooner. But this one, I'm like, ugh, I picked it up and it just spoke to me. I honestly think I'll probably start reading this tonight just because it's one of those books that I can feel like I'll get a sense of comfort from reading and just a sense of peace with how I'm feeling or like the stage of life that I'm in and everything. So I'll have to keep you guys updated and it'll probably help, you know, get me on the train of thought of some different podcast ideas and stuff so i love this i'm gonna get started making dinner tonight obviously it's a lot later i changed into this shirt because i was way too scared to get anything on that white one i was wearing but this has been one of my hyperfixation meals i showed it in a recent vlog so i won't show you guys exactly how i make it but it's so simple like this is very foolproof to make so this is the delicious chopped salad kit from Peter joe's best salad kit in the entire world like if i could have one last meal it would be this that was a little over dramatic but that just goes to show how good it is and then these chicken meatballs i'm just gonna saute the rest of these chop them up and put them on top for a little added protein i know it kind of sounds weird but it is so good you guys like do not knock it until you try it i randomly put it together the other night because i was running low on all of my groceries and i just wanted to use some things up and i was like dang that's actually a good combo because typically what i would do is put like rotisserie chicken on top of that salad that is the best it's so good and then also on top i'm gonna add pickled onions these go on every single salad i make every kale salad bowl they're the best like i don't know why or where i had pickled onions for the first time and why i decided to have them for the first time probably like years ago but ever since that moment they've made all the difference in my salads and they're so good so i'm gonna get to cooking this i just finished editing my podcast so i'm very happy about that typically i do not edit my podcast that quickly because usually i'll have like two to three hours of like a recording to sift through but this episode i just randomly like went on a tangent like of the episode like it was a thought that came to mind and i need to start acting on impulse like that because that's obviously when the best creative ideas i have execute the best because it's just something i'm very passionate about or i've been thinking a lot in that moment instead of trying to force myself to like come up with ideas and stuff so i did that because i was planning on recording an episode chatting about like the daily habits that have transformed my routine but this episode just seems like it'll hit home a lot better and be like the perfect timing for people to hear so I'm really excited about it. I'll have it linked down below because by the time this vlog is up, that episode will be out. So definitely make sure you're tuned in if you're not already. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I just got to my workout class. I'm taking a stations workout this morning. 10:15, upper body day. These are my favorite type of days. I just love training upper body, but I know it's gonna be a hard workout because it's just solely upper body, no like core conditioning or anything. So I'm gonna do that this morning to kick off the weekend. And then Maddie comes in this afternoon, so I have a few things that I want to get done before she comes into town. Major priority is getting my car completely cleaned out. I'm gonna go to the car wash after this, and I believe the place I'm gonna go to has like a vacuum so I can do the interior and just like really get it sparkly and clean. And it's like five minutes away from the place that I work out. So very convenient. I'm like nervous. This car wash is so fancy. I'm just used to going to like the gas station ones. Is there like what? 
ten dollars so this will be quite the experience car wash has like four different options of what to choose from i don't know what to do like i don't know what any of this means extreme shine that's what I want. I don't like when I have a bunch of options. Then I get overwhelmed. Don't know what to do. Into the abyss we go, people. I'm so pumped for my car to finally be washed. Take my camera down because there's like a guy right here and he'll probably be like, what in the heck is that girl doing? a whole car date plane that felt so good to do i was able to wash my mats do the interior of the glass windows clean those they also gave me this air freshener which smells like fresh linen so i put it on the um windshield wiper signal thing because it was a little too big to put on my review mirror but i love it that feels so good to get that done and now i'm gonna go run to trader joe's pick up some snacks get some wine and then we'll head home and finally shower up Now that I'm back home, you guys know my favorite breakfast, post-workout, my protein outs, so good. These are like my hyperfixation, I swear, for the last like two years of my life. In one of my recent vlogs, I shared how I make it, so I'll definitely link that down below. But I'm gonna eat this while I get some work done. Y'all, look who's here. I'm back. The bestie. We're all ready for dinner. We're heading out to Love Child tonight. I have Maddie meet my friends. Yes. Combine the worlds. Two worlds yeah, colliding. Literally, literally. I'm so excited. We're going to have a fun weekend. I don't think I'm going to vlog this weekend, so stay tuned to the TikToks because oh, yeah. we'll make TikToks. Yeah. I'm so happy she's here. Yay. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, vlog.